It's the 13th of March 2007. Apparently there's a bill going through Parliament proposing to give the European Union blue banner with the ring of gold stars uh, the same status as the Union Jack. The same status. The same status as the Union Jack. And if this legislation succeeds it will effectively mean that uh, the EU logo on its blue background uh, will be the equivalent of a national symbol but there is no nation of the EU so uh, why should it be allowed to fly anywhere in this country plans to raise the profile of this wretched blue flag were first proposed by John Prescott well uh, the Deputy Prime Minister, in case you weren't aware, he wanted to introduce a new law after council buildings across the country were forced to take down the banner because opponents of the EU pointed out that public buildings needed planning permission to fly the EU flag because under current rules uh, it's technically classified as an advertisement. Well, of course, it's a political symbol. It's a political symbol. The Union Jack isn't a political symbol in the United Kingdom. It is an indication of the United kingdom's uh, identity any more than the cross of St George or the Scottish flag, the Welsh flag, the flag of the North Northern Ireland, uh, I didn't nearly said assembly, the flag of Northern Ireland, these are indications of national identity uh, accepted by the people that live there, recognised by the people that live there and uh, there are going to be people obviously in those four nations that will dispute the legitimacy of the Union Jack because they'd rather see uh, Scottish, Welsh, etc. nationalism. That's a separate issue. Uh, this Parliament, this, this, this bill going through Parliament gives the EU flag parity with the Union Jack, which is an absolute insult. At least I think it is. I get annoyed every time I see that flag flying, every time I see that emblem. Um, the move to raise the status of the Union flag is part of uh, legislation aimed at raising public awareness of EU institutions. Well, we ought to be made aware of EU institutions. They waste enough of our money. Perhaps if we're made more aware of what they're doing or what they're spending their money on and how money's being wasted, um, it, it might work in, in favour of people, more people saying we've got to get out of the EU. The European Union Information Bill includes a clause that would allow the European flag to be flown from public buildings. So you've got to get onto your councillors and say, don't want that thing flying over our county hall or wherever. And um, I've written to my county council along those lines and I get a pathetic answer back saying, oh, well, we've received so much money from the European Union, Objective 1 money and so forth, that we really feel it ought to be there. Uh, which is a bit of an insult to me as an individual because they're assuming I don't know that this Objective 1 money and any other money that comes from Europe is just our own taxes coming back to us which then have to be matched uh, which means more money out of our taxes and then spent on something that some idiot in Brussels decides we can spend it on under some advice from a regional development agency set up in this country which is part of a regional assembly that hasn't been elected. So, you know, they insult my intelligence with a reply like that. So, look out for it. Um, this plan, incidentally, has emerged uh, as um, one or two people got a little bit upset over moves by Brussels, and listen to this bit. They want to force our British Merchant Navy fleet to fly the European flag instead of the Red Ensign. Now, why would they want to do that? Hmm?